So I'm going to, I'm going to get straight to it, you know, to you, mm-hmm. to you as a coaching, you know, what are the keys to coaching the best as in they already know a lot, you know, and, and what is, what, what are the keys to that relationship to, to some, to two, two athletes that already know a lot about training about themselves? Yeah. Uh, great question. Um, how I break it down as well. And I'm, I'm sure John can relate to this as well. As you get to the higher end athletes, they've already got a lot of the skills and the prerequisites like, you know, they've, they've got the drive, they've got, uh, they've got the training volume under their belt, to so to speak. Um, and they're very disciplined off or so, sorry, outside of the gym. I think at this level, it's more about managing uh, load, being conscious of their training and um, communication. Communication is is hands down the most important aspect that I think that is not overlooked, but a valuable asset into relationship building and understanding your athletes. It's obviously a two-way street. When I say communication, I'm not just necessarily saying what I'm saying, do this. I'm actually looking at more than the verbal language they give me, obviously the physical, which, which body parts they're touching excessively, like how they're grasping their shoulder. Okay, so I'm conscious of that. I'm even looking at the body language which they're portraying in my conversation. Are they, are they even present? Are they thinking about other things? What is it? Is it something off social media what's annoyed them? Or I don't know, or is it, is it like a commitment with a sponsor or is it just the surroundings where they're not comfortable? Are they, anyway. Factoring in all those things and understanding that for me is is uh, having having them present is certainly an asset to the fact that we're all together and we see each other daily. Yeah, I hope that answers it. Did I go off track there? No, absolutely. I mean, I I find it fascinating because uh, it's something that it would scare me, you know, to to know that I'm trying to bring value to some to someone that is almost like has all the value in the world, you know. So I was I'm, I was very fascinating into how you tackle. To how that conversation and I guess what I'm hearing from you is that there's a lot of listening that actually needs to happen in order for you to to bring them with values like it's not so much about what you're saying it's also what you're hearing from them is that is that where you were going yeah exactly exactly that it's a two-way street they got to be they've got to be transparent with me as well I will say though it um it does there is more coaching at the start of the season where we're uh, in the building phase or we're going back to the fundamentals, the basics and doing a lot of that where we work strict, strictly on technique and tightening up our movement patterns. And as we progress through the season, I guess the hands-on comes a lot less and it's more of a reinforcement role and it's just um, adapting when I, where I need to be injected into the training a lot more. 